Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at what ChatGPT inside of chatbots can do for you to automate your business. So within just like five minutes or so, I built this really simple appointment scheduler. And basically every single question is going to be asked by ChatGPT. ChatGPT will remember the users, basically the user's information and ask the next, the next question until all the information has been captured. And then we are going to forward the information towards a custom field and save it for the business itself to be able to get a confirmation or maybe confirm with the user that the appointment can proceed as scheduled, right? So let's take a look at how this works. So I built a really simple flow. As you can see, it's just about seven nodes. And the first one here is basically to start the demo. Normally this will be connected automatically towards ChatGPT directly, but for demo purposes, I always build in a question block. So the question is really simple, how can I help? The next step will be, and where all the magic is going to happen is inside the chat GPT appointment scheduler. So if we're going to take a look, this is a, basically a chat completion, right? And inside I have some information. So first of all, I'm going to set the role inside the system message. So what role does chat GPT need to take, right? And then we are going to ask certain questions. So certain questions need to be captured, the details, and we need ChatGPT to basically ask them towards the user. So let's go from top to bottom. You're an appointment scheduler assistant in charge to make sure to capture the detail of the user. Questions you need to ask are date of the appointment, preferred time of the appointment, and the reason for the appointment. Ask each question separately. Only when all the information has been captured, you will Confirm the details by outputting the following JSON value and nothing else. And as you can see, this JSON value is really important because this is something that we can use inside the rest of the flow itself after all the information has been captured. So basically, this is the status of the appointment, which will be set to captured. Then we have the date, the time, and the reason. Basically, all the three questions that we have above. And you can, of course, uh, expand on this and ask more questions and then add it towards this JSON body, right? Important, important is also because ChatGPT is used to making conversations. I needed to put in this value and I know this by default. I did not test anything yet, but normally ChatGPT will then, once all the information has been captured, ChatGPT will then ask something. So to confirm the following appointment details will be as following. And this is something that we want to prevent because we only need this JSON body because otherwise the rest of the automation will fail because of it. So I just made a simple test. And uh, basically what I uh, did is inside the messages, I have the last text input, which always has the last uh, type message of the user. And I put in a test value. So I want to make an appointment for July 7th. The time is 2 p.m. and the reason is talking about a race, right? So I want to see if ChatGPT can recognize all the three questions have already been given, basically all the information about those three points, and it will directly output this field. So let's test this. Important is also to enable the history because ChatGPT needs to see the previous context every single time we go back inside of this chat completion. Then for the model, I'm using GPT-4 because I like the basically the outcome. It's more accurate, even with the newest uh, 3.5 model, which came out earlier this week. I still find GPT-4 to be more accurate in these kinds of cases. The max tokens I put at 100. The temperature I set to 0 0.3 to basically reduce a little bit more of the randomness that ChatGPT is really known for, right? So for example, um, what I mentioned before is so to confirm the appointment. So it will then skip a little bit about the details inside the system message and then still ask it in a conversational way, which is understandable because it's a conversational model, but we explicitly said it not to. And by setting the temperature a little bit lower, so to 0 0.3 is the sweet spot for me at least, that will reduce the chances of it generating as such. The rest I will leave at default, as you can see. So let's test this request. And if we take a look now, then you will see that under the choices, messages, role, content, you will see that we get the proper JSON value back, right? So everything has been captured properly. So that is fantastic to know. So let's see what happens is if we are going with removing the time to see if it now sees that we gave the date, we gave the reason, but we are still missing the time. So let's see if the GPT-4 model of ChatGPT recognizes that only the time is missing and will ask that specific question. So let's take a look. 
test the request again, and in about four or five seconds, even earlier, you will see that now we already have what is your preferred time for the appointment. So nothing else is being asked, but we get the correct, basically the correct payload. So what we are going to do is we're going to save this content, right? So under the choices, we're going to save the message slash content, and that will output like this inside of a JSON path. And we're going to map that towards a custom field. And I already did so below, as you can see, JSON path, save to custom field, chat GPT response. Now, the next step is basically, soon as that happens, is I'm going to check if the response that we received contains the word captured in it. If so, it means that we already have the JSON value returned and we can go towards the next node. If not, that means that more information needs to be captured and we're going to ask a next, basically a next question. And this next question will just contain the response from ChatGPT in the test from just a little bit ago, you saw it asking for the time because it already has the reason and the date. So it will then ask for the time, goes back inside of this specific chat completion, checks if all the information have been given because we also enabled the chat history. If so, we're going towards this condition check again. Inside this condition check, we are going to check if the word captured is included. If so, we are going towards the next node. So the next node is actually a little bit of a JSON script to be able to save the details inside of a JSON field. Because if we take a look at the chat GPT chat completion, we save this inside of a text custom field, as you can see here. So what we need to do, we need to convert that so we can have the separate, basically the separate overview of all the specific dates, uh, times and reasons for this appointment, right? So inside this JavaScript is a really, really simple JavaScript, as you can see, just a two, uh, two lines, right? What I'm going to do with this code basically is I'm going to set a certain variable towards the captured data. As you can see, the parameter name is appointment. And from here, we have a test value. I want to parse this as a JSON. So we have json.parse. And then between the brackets, we have the appointment parameter that we set inside the parameter name. Then the next part is just to return this specific value, right? So this is something that you can do like this. So let's test these two codes. So let's say test function. And now you can see that we have each individual section that we can map. I, however, just map the results into a JSON custom field, as you can see, appointment details. So if I just go with searching details, you will see that I have an appointment details here and I just press add and it will be added below in the JSON path overview. Once done, I'm having a confirmation of appointment details. From here, we're going to ask if this is correct, yes or no, by pressing the button. If yes, we just have this explain next step. I did not add an admin notification. That is something that you can do. But let's test this, basically this entire setup out, right? So let's preview this. Let's go and do that inside of a web chat, just as easy. So we first should get the question, uh, how can I help? So let's see if we get that. There we go. So let's say I would like to make an appointment. Now it should first ask for the specific question or the date, right? As you can see, great, let's get the details for your appointment. What is the date of the appointment? Let's say uh, July 10. Now it should ask for the time. So let's see if we capture that. Okay, perfect. What is the preferred time for your appointment? Let's go with 10 a.m. And now, thanks, and what is the reason for the appointment? So let's take a look. Let's say uh, I would like to discuss a race. Not sure if that will get me my appointment, but <laughs> let's take a look. So all details have been captured, and now we should get the confirmation overview. So let's see if this works. And as you can see, the JSON script already formatted all the details. And now we have the appointment overview, date July 10, time 10 a.m., reason for the appointment, I would like to discuss a race. Is this correct? We can say, yes, please confirm. And now we have the final confirmation message. As you can see here, this message has just been sent. So within about five minutes and a little bit more for testing purposes, right? And walking you through the demo, we have a complete appointment scheduler basically created with chat GPT. So how cool is this that you can basically do these kinds of use cases to automate your business processes. Now, this, of course, is a basic example of an appointment scheduler. You can go as advanced as you like. Also, uh, requesting the 
specific format of the date, specific format of the time to be able to match it with your own system. That is everything. Basically, you can set all of these things up inside the system message. So if you go back towards the chat completion, everything that you are going to set up. So let's say date of the appointment, I request it in the format and we could, for example, say day, month, and then year. Right. So then ChatGPT will ask it inside of this kind of format. We'll also check it. And if you give it any other way, then most likely ChatGPT will re uh, basically re-ask this exact same question and then mention we really need it inside of this specific date format. So I hope this video helped you in realizing how powerful it is to be able to enable ChatGPT inside of your business with this use case of an appointment scheduler. Right. So again, if you have any questions, do let me know. If you like this video, I do consider if you drop the like. And if you want to get notified about more videos like this going live on my channel, then do subscribe towards the channel. I'm also having a huge giveaway for every single milestone that I hit. And currently I'm on my way for 750 subscribers on my channel. Once I hit that, I'm having a huge giveaway. So I'll post a link down in the video description about more details for this specific giveaway. And if you want to join my membership, the Chatbot Marketing Accelerator, with more advanced videos like this and access towards premium templates and exclusive mini apps for the UChat platform, then I also have a link down below where you can grab a $500 discount on my current LTD pricing. So I want to wish you a great day. Take care and I'll talk to you really, really soon.